Oh man. Uh, hold on. So he's in two. Let me see. Deconstruct. 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 Let's get him out of there as quick as possible. He's, uh... God damn, quickly, quick, 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 don't stop. Oh my god, everybody should be working on this project right now. Thank god. Fucking A. So clearly I'm about to build this whole bottom side, like, one or two at a time. That's all I can really do. <sighs> That's hilarious. Just looking for Rumi. Is <laughs> immediately. All right, so it's gonna take a while. Uh, so yeah, on that on that uh, comment, Inferno, right? Uh, yes, that I am talking about heat seeping into the base, and I'm putting you in the basement. Um, yes, I am. But carbon dioxide is gonna be pouring into there, and then we're taking the carbon dioxide that after it gets heated up, and I'm gonna be ejecting it out into space. So, and then with this double wall here, I'm not gonna have to worry about that. So, I don't think that putting the hot stuff deeper into the basement is really gonna do much because all this stuff's gonna eventually get get processed um carbon dioxide goes down and then it goes out into space so it'll be fine and this whole thing's working how funny man well, what's up with this poke shell spawn hell no so much food do we have what if we just grab one more let me see, uncultured, cooking, so cooking, tidying, ranching, doctoring, tidying, seven strength, early bird, mouth breather, uh, ugly crier, binge eater, ugly crier, sticker bomber, sticker bomber, early burner, mouth breather, transfer, the, cannot do digging errands, uh, increase the core morale bonus, cannot do decorating errands, cuisine, cooking, farming, suit wearing, those, good, um, tidying, someone is just, what do I need right now? Buff E Jr. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's I don't need a cook I don't need farming right now I think I think we have some of that is farming um, I, I would say just pure strength pure strength would probably do it is this gonna be uh, I did say you know on my list is replace Buffy so let's say what was it buff how about this? Uh, Buffy is, is dead, but we'll replace it with um, Biff E. There we go. It's, also, it's like a dude anyway, so there you go. Prince. Welcome, Biff! <clears throat> Look straight to bed. <laughs> Was he a night guy? I think it's a night guy, right? Uh, low oxygen. Yeah, it's a problem. We're going to work on that. Today's net stress already getting pretty bad. Uh, bed rest, contact with slime lung disease. Guy, the guy just got here. Let's see, personal interest is tidying. Okay, hold on, let's look at his damn. Oops. Schedule. It says right here. Biffy. So Biffy's gonna be the morning shift. There you go. Good, we have three people on the morning shift. That was actually, that's good. It's good, keep them spread out a little bit. We got a few people on night shift, a few people on day shift. Okay, they work on that later. How's this down here? Almost done. Gold amalgam for that. <sighs> it's gonna take forever. Uh oh. Who just made a mess? Oh my god, Navy Devil stuck! I guess David Hill's slept up here. Just up here, just running on the damn thing. There, I'll fix it. <sighs> pee, like, pee in a jar. <laughs> He's stuck there all night just peeing in a jar. Biffy, get to work. Clean that shit up. Okay. This is definitely one of those, like, I wish I would have planned ahead for this kind of moments. Actually, I think I could do two at a time. 
They can reach through. One, I think. Is that unreachable? Ah, shit, it is unreachable. Okay, so they can't reach through one. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Oh, God, they can't clean this up. Pick it up. I don't want to, like, leave trash everywhere. <laughs> Damn these guys. Thank you. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Good. Okay. Eh. So we'll just slowly put this whole thing together here. Oh, 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 oh. hold on. Let's not do that one. Anyways, Boom, baby. Guankles, good timing. Zoop. Guankles, thank you so much. Guankles, 15 months. How have I been 15 months of Guankles? God damn. Hot damn. Oh shit, does no. Why? 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 Just no. Clean it up, dude. Clean it up. Clean it up. Is it unreachable? Don't tell me it's unreachable. Storage unavailable. Oh, is I? Oh, it's I refined metal. That's why. Uh, I don't have a bin specifically for that yet. Uh, um, do I want to put a bin somewhere random just to have and hold on to some of this metal? Yes, I do. Right here. Boop. Let's load up with metal. So, metal ore. Boop. Is it refined metal? I don't think so. We'll do that anyways. As long as it gets it up. Good. Doom, doom. Very slowly make our way across this thing. I have not made any steel yet. I don't even know how to make steel right now. Uh, I haven't looked into it yet. It, we've been so preoccupied with just trying to get our shit together. It's been rough, man. Let's see. So this has got plenty of water, so that should be cleaning out a lot of this gas. I'm surprised. I'm actually a little surprised at how much carbon dioxide buildup we have, given that we have a carbon skimmer right here. Um, I wonder if we should like put a carbon skimmer here and one here. I don't know. But the carbon skimmer is also generating a lot of heat too. So what is the solution? Should we put it farther away? Should I? And everything goes down into the right. So. Hmm. Let's block this off here and then here. And God, they, this, if I take that away, if I take, if I block this off right now, they're just gonna take forever to get through here. It's actually sitting on a power line though, so actually we can put a door there, a small door. Let's do that. Oops. Uh, let's see. No. Uh, let's go and kill a ladder. Let's see, we use a half mechanized airlock. Cool. Oh, they did not finish yet. What is it made out of? Fucking gold. Copper. There. Good. And maybe I might have to pad all this stuff too, I think, eventually. I wonder if I should move some of these. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we could just move this up here. This one is just gas, just carbon dioxide. So we could just move that somewhere else too. So let's see. Plumbing, bottler, liquid bottler. Put that right here in this room that's supposed to be nice and clean and stress free. Sure, let's throw it in. We'll make it just you know, the core plus 10%. So that'll go there. We can kill this one. And actually, what we should probably do, just because we're gonna base, we're gonna barricade all this in. Um, 
I'm not giving them an easy way to go down here, but they don't have any, they don't have any like regular chores they have to do down here. The only thing they have to do is get down here to go to work. Hmm. That's okay. So that's a problem. Okay. So they, they need to get down here to get to work. This is enough insulation for right now. <laughs> I don't have to think about <laughs> moving a bunch of other stuff right now. Oh, man. Got a lot of water down here. Clean that up. Any water anywhere else? Get all this shit out of here. Get out of here. Deconstruct that. Mm, choose a blueprint. Oxalite or copper. I need copper. Nice. Um... So this is all still getting loaded up. It's going to take forever. I think we should probably go ahead and start building the pipe to eject some of this carbon dioxide out into space. I think that's the next thing we have to do. And should we wait till it gets a certain temperature or like, I wonder how we should do that. Like, what is the temperature of the carbon dioxide as it makes its way down here? That's the, that's the question we should ask. So carbon dioxide has come down at 105.2 degrees, 102 degrees, 102 degrees. Let's see. Carbon dioxide up here is 102 degrees, so it is technically getting warmer as it goes down there, but it's also sitting on a pad right now. Like, there's a lot of carbon dioxide down there, so it's not necessarily, like, flowing. Uh, so what is my carbon dioxide generators? Like, what is actually creating? It's 101 degrees. Uh, oh, it's not, that's not the, um, carbon dioxide. 100 degrees. Okay. 100 degrees. 100 degrees. 107 degrees, because it's right next to the water sieve. Um... 106 degrees. So this is obviously putting out a whole lot of heat. Oh, I should look at this. This is where the main output is. 102 degrees. And this is 104 degrees. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have, you know, I have a straight shot, actually. I could eject this stuff easily. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. Just straight up. But what am I going to fill it for? That, the thing is, like, you can't just get rid of carbon dioxide. Like, you have to put something in its place. And so, what is going to go in its place? Let's just go ahead and build it, and then we'll figure it out. <laughs> this is the way it works. We'll just put a gas pipe here. Pump here. Uh, is that on the... Yeah, that's, that should do it. Then we'll do uh, insulated gas pipe. How much do I have? See, what is this? Granite? What do I have in sandstone? A lot, but I have a lot more granite, so. And let's see, how do I want to go up? Oh, just straight up. So right up the ladder. And then straight up that ladder. And maybe go across here. And then we'll go right up here. We just carved this out too, which is nice, so. We can just go straight up. Over, up, and I'll put a little vent here into space. See you later, carbon dioxide. Good. That's a pipe. That's gonna take forever. Forever. That's seriously gonna take forever. Hey, look at that! Our temporary solution actually worked really well. Let me see. What is the temperature? 74.8 degrees. Fucking fantastic. This solution, using the Weez Wards, is probably gonna keep this area. Um, I mean, just basically peachy for a good while without anything else. Like, I, I could insulate and do all that stuff, but I think right now we could just leave it alone. It's working. This over here is a problem. Uh, body temperature, like, it's just way too hot here. But this is just bonus food. Like, it's getting, I'm not way, it's getting way too hot, actually. Just barely. 0. 0.1 degrees. Oh, is the temperature dropping in the base? Because it was warmer than that earlier. The scene of Buffy. <laughs> Buffy, are you still here or did you just leave? <laughs> this fixes the issue right now, but that means another issue, but that's the future problem. That's right, tomorrow me. Tomorrow me and right now me. We're not like the best of friends, but you know, we get along sometimes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, tomorrow me will take care of it, it's fine. I think, I think, I think, I think. Uh. That's what the sticky notes are for. Exactly. Okay, 
I really hope that this double layer right here makes a difference. I mean, this is a lot of space, but we like this is like our main heat generators here. I feel like we have to seal this off too. So like this whole area here is gonna get nuked somehow. Like this is the path they get to get to work, right? To get down here to these suits. But I don't feel like that's the best. I almost want to just cut a hole in this and just put a door here and just let them just come out here to get to work. And then just, you know, put all this, uh, block all this off. Can I move this over one? If I can move this over one tile, then that pretty much solves it right there. Like, that'll be it. Let's see what happens. Can't breathe in there? Carbon dioxide. Oof. Yeah. That's a lot of carbon dioxide. Hey, Buffy. Oh, man. I do feel bad. I want you to know I do feel bad. I did feel bad when it happened. Babe, hey, we replaced you with your, uh, with your clone. We have a clone. Cloning system. Can I move this water, uh, soda machine over a little bit? Let me see. Furniture. Da -na 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 -na. Soda fountain. I think I might be able to move it over. If anything, I don't necessarily need it. It's just kind of a fun thing to have. Deconstruct it. Wait a minute. Or we could just put the water somewhere else. The water dispenser somewhere else. Like right down this, right down here actually. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, it's just a lot more plumbing, but yeah, sure. Let's go up and we'll just go straight across. We'll go up here. And then we'll just put, I guess we don't have to put it too deep. We just put it right here for now. And then liquid bottler. There we go. And then get rid of this. Get rid of this. Then we can still have the soda fountain. We can still have, yeah, all the other stuff is fine. And we can reroute that stuff. We could kill this uh, if they ever get to it. Okay, nine, seven. All this carbon dioxide here is going to release into the air, which sucks. Or, or... We can get rid of this thing here, the splitter, and we can just connect all these together. That'll do it. Let's see ventilation. Oh wow, they're fucking fast. And we'll just do regular gas pipe and just go boom, boom. Good. So that drains that. Excellent. We don't need all these. We can go ahead and get rid of it. Keep things clean. Oh god, the pause. Whoa! Cancel. <laughs> I don't even know where that was going. <laughs> Just sets the whole base to self-destruct. Uh, wow, they're building this super fast. This is good. Yeah, the, um... Whenever it, whenever it stalls like that on a save, it will like just create like sometimes just random build orders all over the place. If you're if you if you're holding down the mouse click when it happens, it's usually just a fucking nightmare. <laughs> but yeah, how's how cold is this actually now? Let me see. 42 degrees, so we're still good. We're still good. Temperature in here is 50s, uh, still 60s as it gets up here. So pretty warm as it gets up here. There's like a warm spell over here. Um but this area right here is 21 degrees. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this thing's just working its little heart out. <laughs> the pipes, these things are full now. Great. Uh, how, how, what's the temperature of in this? Let's see, 79 degrees. So the hydrogen is already actually pretty cool. 27 degrees. Wow, look at that. It's a pretty cool hydrogen in there. We, if Once we get to the point where we can actually take some of this and use it somewhere else in the base or use it to power something, I don't know. Let's we'll figure it out. Uh, well, that's going to be just a wonderful day. But right now, we'll just leave it alone. Just like just like how we built all this stuff out here, the oil and all this crap, we built all this stuff, and then we're just like, mm, we'll just leave it alone. <laughs> we're just not going to worry about it right now. We have other things to worry about. Let's see. So this thing's ready to go. Great. Ready to go. Just take all that, eject it out into space. Oh, they're almost done. Oh, they're so close. They're so close. Go, 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 go! Go! Just in case- yeah, all that oil is seriously- yeah, I have ton of, tons of petroleum and everything, so it's- all that is like, just in case. Ex exactly. Just in case. You never know. Like, if these natural gas generators just fail me somehow, and it just turns into just- I, They wouldn't, because of this. But if, if they do, then yeah, we could, we have fallbacks. 
I feel like eventually we're probably going to end up killing this whole area here and moving it somewhere else. I don't know where or what or whatever, but I feel like there's just no reason to have these generators and everything underneath the base. Like right now we got rid of some things, you know, creating some carbon dioxide flow where, um, like, I feel like we, we, we're, we're on the right path. It's just going to take like a long time. Comes a lot of water now. Okay, oh, so that's the other thing too. Yeah, how do I get them to not go down there and just... Is it the unloads? Okay. I guess there is... No way to have a dupe walk up to a machine and then have it just... Um retrieve uh, something for them like for them to have like they have to go to the facility in order to pull anything out that they need which kind of a problem I mean unless I'm missing something I feel like maybe I'm missing something am I missing something guys like I have the, sh the, the shipping The receptacle unloads all materials from a conveyor rail into storage, but that's the opposite of what I want to do. Like, I want them to walk up to a vending machine and say, I want this item. And then the machine brings it up. But I could see how that could take a long time because it physically moves the, the machines. Uh, physically moves everything up. With a certain amount of stuff. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's not. you're right. You know, that's not a bad idea. Just keep it topped off. Just have like three or four bands with like common building materials, sandstone, whatever. I just gotta get it cool first. Like this is fine, we get it out of the way and everything, but yeah, we, yeah, you're right. There's gotta be a better way to do it. So yeah, we'll make a centralized, simple storage room that just has like, I don't know, six bins and they just have happen to have all the resources that they need. Or not even, not even six bins, like fewer than that actually. Fewer than that, because, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily need it. So all that gas is getting pumped out. 100 degrees. 100 degrees. Out into space. Out into space. I know I need plastic for the tubes, man. I need plastic. So this is actually going to very quickly uh, clear out this entire room. And, you know... It's not going to create a vacuum. It's got to move this stuff somewhere. I don't know what or where it's going to move it. But it's going to eventually get all this carbon dioxide out. At the very least, we're not going to have carbon dioxide buildup, which is going to create, like, it's like insulation. It's going to make everything hot. Uh, so at the very least, we're not going to have that problem. We're just going to have other problems. So this part's done. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll go deconstruct this. And we will finish filling this ladder here. One, two. And then we'll put a door right there. We'll put a, a half mechanized airlock because there's already power there, which is great. That way this room can continue being whatever room that is. Recreational room. Boop. And then we can block this area off so that way they don't go down here anymore. So this area is done. Oh wait, let's start at the middle here. I'll go uh, one, two. Can they breathe in the rec room yet? Not yet, we're working on it. We'll work on the air stuff. I'll probably replace the floor with uh, gas tiles or something. That way, and once it's all flat down here, that we should see a good amount of, like all the carbon dioxide should just move down to the right. So. Oh shit. They have to get rid of these. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere to put it. Nope, because I don't have any, yeah, I don't have anywhere to put it. Uh, do I have somewhere nearby that I could dump water in? No, I don't. Let's go and rebuild this. Bottle emptier. <laughs> Who needs air? It's fine. It's fine. Let's see, all liquid. And then get those two. 
holding his breath while he's relaxing. Look at him. The both of them is pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> he squeezes out a smile. <laughs> oh man, that's brilliant. I love it. I fucking love it. All right, let's have to clean up all this mess first, and we'll continue building up this uh, this uh, insulated flooring here. Probably should go and actually replace this with airflow tiles. Oh god, they're expensive. That's why I didn't do it. Gold. 100 per? Never mind. We'll probably come back later and do that. Wait, does the insulate the mesh tile? Uh, yeah, mesh tile's the same thing. God, they're expensive. Although, you know, now I think about it, like, if we look at this... Like, everything that is... Let's see, that's aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. What is that? Uh, igneous rock? Okay, I don't need that. But there's a lot of resources that I have used everywhere that I don't necessarily need. Like, I don't need to have mesh all the way across because they're not pissing themselves anymore. Like, in terms of their living quarters, they're fine. Uh, I could reclaim some of this aluminum and use it somewhere else. And this is like, was it 100 each, I think? Yeah, 100 each. And so there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 20, like 20 per. So it's 2,000 each times 1, 2, 3, 6, uh, 8, 10. I mean, this is a lot. That's a lot, man. It's a whole lot of resources tied up into mesh tiles I don't need. So I guess I'll write that down on a note. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'll just put reclaim metals from tiles. There we go. Good. I wonder if, if I do this, like if I, no, I, I, I still want a pad here. I'm wondering if I should, if, if, if I decide to replace the floor, if I should actually gut the floor completely, let them just walk around on nothing for, or let them sleep on the floor for like a day. Um, <clears throat> and then run some, uh, I don't know, heavy watt wire or, or I should say, or, and, uh, insulated pipe, gas and, uh, um, conveyors and, and, and whatever, liquid. Basically just, just prefab, like basically pre-set up a bunch of pipes that maybe we're not using now, but we will eventually use. Hmm. Do both of those. Good. <clears throat> Great. So that keeps this area pretty well sealed off. Yeah, utility. Yeah, totally. Utility basement. And so all that stuff can get pumped over here to this. This is not putting out a lot of heat, I don't think. It's 103.8 degrees, but I think because the surrounding area is 103.8 degrees. Yeah, the surrounding area is pretty hot. This should help mitigate some of that heat transfer from the uh, basement to the to the roof. Down here, though, we have uh, we're almost creating a freaking vacuum. <laughs> it's all this stuff that we're pulling. How funny! See, all the liquids picked up. So we still have some more crap to move. Like there's still a whole pile of stuff here. I think I have enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely have enough. What time is it? Okay, we're gonna go one more cycle here. And then we'll pause it. About 550. Yeah, oxalate, sure. But we're ejecting all that stuff into space. It's gonna be replaced by some kind of gas. We don't know what, because everything up here is pretty much sealed, so they can't really breathe down here. Um, <clears throat> might. We might actually have to move this atmosphere, the, the suit docks, somewhere else to make it so that way they can, um, you know, go to work like on either side. Maybe, actually, you know what we'll do? Maybe we'll just put, uh, you know, we have a few here. We'll put another few facing the other direction. We'll seal all this off. That way they have to go straight down, go into that suit, and then they go up here and they can work all, all over the place and not have to worry about, you know, anything. Whoa, it's playing about heat, huh? 
Yes, it's very hot down here. Yes, that part I know. But once I get... Yeah, once I get this area to the point to where they never have to go down here for anything, then I could seal it off, put a carbon skimmer down here at the bottom, uh, like this carbon skimmer here, just put that down here at the bottom, and then I've pretty much eliminated it. Like, I could seal it, I don't have to worry about heat or anything uh, radiating out from the basement uh, by basically moving, you know, a good chunk of the basement further to, th further away. And the same thing's going to happen eventually to all everything here in this utility area. It's all eventually going to go away. That is not a lot of actual air. Oh, man. I have not been paying attention. Clearly, because they have practically no air. What happened? Did we leave the door open to space? No. Uh... We need more oxygen. Like stat. Best way to do that is turn on oxygen diffuser. They have like they have like no oxygen. They're actually like almost suffocating, barely breathable. That happened fast. Let me see. Oxygen. So the oxygen is getting in. Obviously, it's not enough to fill this gigantic area. Oxygen. Thank, thanks, Doc. <laughs> The, uh, the allergy, we have tons of allergies, so that'll be fine. That'll help basically resolve, uh, this issue right now. Uh, because it puts out a significant amount. But I'm still, I'm still short. Like, I'm still definitely short on oxygen as a whole. And this is the problem I ran into before, where I had the oxygen, um, being piped in and mixed with two different sources. is specifically for this reason. I wonder if I should kick on this guy and attach it to because this area is getting pretty oh there's like no hydrogen in here now so we have oh and this is breaking oh my god everything's going wrong <laughs> we have no oxygen we have no hydrogen we have no carbon dioxide. We have somehow vacuum sucked all of the gases out of the base. 